Hey guys, welcome back to Kasoge. I'm Matt. I'm Ollie. And last time we left you, we checked out Sailor Moon S, a jank ass fighting game. Showed off some of the system mechanics, saw some crazy stuff, and had a bit of a fight. Now, we've come back, we've trained a bit, we've checked out how the game functions, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a best of five to see who's got that big dick Kusoge energy! But, before we jump to that, we're going to show off some of the system mechanics that we've found out about this game, some of the quirks, some of the weird bits, and explain to you kind of how the game operates. Yep, we'll show off a little bit of what we've learned in this um, week that we spent practicing, mm. um, and hopefully uh, you'll get a better understanding of the game, and you'll show how good our understanding of the game is, which is pretty top tier, I think. Oh, definitely. I feel confident that we could easily beat anyone who was at EVO this year. Uh-huh. <laughs> Actually, wait. No, no, no. I'm very confident we could beat anyone who will show up at EVO this year. You know what? You might be right. Last time, uh, when we were playing, we were looking at throwing and trying to figure out if you could detect normal throws in this game. Well, it turns out you can. Uh, Ollie, would you like to try and throw me now? Okay, I'll... Okay, I'll set you up for it. Three, two, one, throw. That was a tech. Yes. So this game doesn't have throw teching in the normal modern sense of a fighting game. However, it does have throw softening, which was a mechanic back in Street Fighter 2. Essentially, uh, instead of nullifying a throw, you'll simply make the throw do less damage. And it shortens the knockdown as well. If you look, if you compare it to an, a full throw, see how long he's on the ground? Now, the interesting thing here is how you tech throws. Uh, typically in a fighting game, what you'll do is a throw input to tech a throw. So in this game, you'll use forward heavy punch or forward heavy kick to do a normal throw. And in most games, you'd expect to do, say, just forward heavy punch to tech that. But the interesting thing about this game is it seems to be two inputs uh, directly one after the other. So try and throw me again. Okay. Three, two, one, throw. Okay. This is a lot. <laughs> that did work. This is a lot. Uh, this is a lot harder to do over the net than it is in person. <laughs> it's certainly true. So, backdashes are a really powerful universal tool that the entire cast has, providing everyone with pretty much, pretty much every character with crazy movement options. It's also a very good defensive tool. Now, something you could do with Chibi Moon, and I want to see if I can, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull it off, but I'm going to see if I can pull it off. With Chibi Moon, if you time this backdash perfectly, you can just stall infinitely because you have no window of vulnerability. You are completely invincible throughout this entire dash. <laughs> this seems like a pretty well-designed game. <laughs> this is great, honestly. On a hitbox, this is really not that difficult to do, it seems. I'm not getting it consistently, but it's pretty consistent for how easy I'm, it is. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah. So Uranus is unique in the cast in that she's the only character with a forward dash. However, unlike back dashes, forward dashes are not invincible whatsoever. So try and dash towards me. Yep. I'm getting hit out of that. Oh, oh no. My Super Nintendo's lagging. It's just amazing how fast everything that happens with Uranus. It's just, um... It just happens at a speed that, that uh, I find games don't usually tend to happen. Much like many other fighting games, uh, Sailor Moon has a concept called counter hits. So essentially, when you attack, uh, at the start of your attack, you're in what's called the startup of your attack. Now, if you get hit while in that, you'll take an extra 20% damage. So for example, if I start to punch, if I start to kick here, and then I get hit out of it, I'll take a little bit of extra damage. So that's pretty par for the course of fighting games. But Sailor Moon S adds an additional kind of hit that works functionally identical to counter hits. It adds a small damage boost that stacks with counter hits, but these are called face hits. Essentially, if you hit someone and the part of the hurt box that you hit is on your opponent's head, they'll take extra damage, like so. <laughs> I I didn't believe this was real. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, look up the, uh, look up the hitbox viewer for this game. You'll see a little head hitbox for everyone. It's great. 
It's such a weird mechanic, too. I guess it kind of makes sense. Like, if you get punched in the face, it hurts more. Yeah, I mean, I think it makes sense from a realism perspective. Yeah. Um, That's all that matters in game, Matt. Most fighting games have uh, what's called charge moves. Essentially, it's a kind of input for a special move. What you'll do is you'll hold a one direction, usually back or down, uh, or some combination of that direction, and then you'll press forward or up, usually, and a button to do a special move after charging for a while. So essentially, uh, what Jupiter can do is walk back for a few seconds, or a few moments, rather, and then forward punch throws a sonic boom. Something that's common to almost every single fighting game is the pre-round charge buffer. So why don't you kill me, and I'll show you what I mean. So what you can normally do in a fighting game is in the pre-round period, you can charge up your special move. However, if you try to do that in Sailor Moon, nothing will come out. One, one thing that's usually important to note in basically every fighting game is you can pretty much always be charging. Mm. Like when you're jumping, when you're doing attacks, when you're crouching, as long as you're holding back in between rounds, you can always be charging. And that's kind of an important part of how charge works. In this game, however, it's a little bit different. So in this game, you can't actually charge your special moves before the round starts, which means you can't just open up a round and throw a sonic boom. Or can you? Let me show you something fascinating about this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold back and start charging a sonic boom. Now, the round is over. So normally, I would not be able to throw a sonic boom on round start because this game has no pre-charge buffering. However, this game lets you charge your special moves and then maintain that charge in between rounds. In fact, it even lets you maintain it in between games. Let's demonstrate real quick. Why don't you go kill me real quick? So now I've stopped holding back. And now we'll select our characters again. Now what I'll do is pr enter us into the game and pre start pressing back again. Whoa. Yep, that charge maintains not just in between rounds, but in between games. Um, unfortunately, this mechanic did not make a comeback in any future Guilty Gear game. Yeah, that's kind of a ripoff, I know. Mm. Oh, hey, did we mention this game was developed by Arc System Works? Oh, no, we didn't. They were the um, crack team behind the uh, Game Gear Sonic Racing game. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that. They made Sonic <laughs> Drift. Guard councils are one of the key mechanics to Sailor Moon. And honestly, it's one of the defining mechanics, I'd say. It's, it really shows how differently it plays from a typical fighting game. So, what is a guard council? Well, essentially, uh, come up and hit me. Whenever you block a move in a fighting game, you get put into a state, what's called hit stun. Uh, essentially, you can't move and you're blocking for that amount of time. Typically, the only thing you can do is switch whether you're blocking high or low in case your opponent tries to do a mix-up on you. Now, one of the interesting things about Sailor Moon is that at any point, you can cancel your block state and immediately transition into a special move. This is known as a guard cancel. Uh, hit me with a fireball. You can't guard cancel into backdash, can you? Yeah. So this has a lot of implications as to how you play the game, how you run offense and defense, because it's a very powerful defensive option, especially on characters like Sailor Jupiter, because you've got a very powerful and high range command grab that you can just bust out at any point to someone who's up in your face. So get me in the corner and start beating on me. Yeah. All right. I can't forward dash. Oh, just scooped right out of my block string. I'll jump in as well. Block the jump in. Normally, that'd be a pretty advantageous position for me, but you can basically just guard cancel SPD out of whatever the fuck you want. So the last mechanic we're going to look at is desperation moves. Essentially, these are the supers of the game, but you'll notice that unlike a typical fighting game, there's no super meter anywhere on the screen. You can think of it like a rage art in Tekken 7. Yeah, if it's a, a rage art that you can do as much as you want. <laughs> Essentially. What happens is, uh, when you're in a state where you're allowed to do a super, you can just throw out as many supers as you want infinitely. 
To get into that state, you have to satisfy one of two criteria. Either you have to be on low health, about I think 20-30%, or alternatively, the timer has to be below 10 seconds. So the upshot of this is right at the end of the round, you get infinite uses of your super. Ollie, would you like to try and throw a super at me? Nope. That's a powerful that was super. A super. No, that was definitely super. Look at how much damage that does on block. I want to show something important, which is the difference between the damage on block and the difference between the damage on hit. So get me down to low life. Just regular throws. Okay, I should be good now. So just take this hit. Alright. That did a decent chunk of damage. Now try blocking it. Alright. Uh, <laughs> d d uh, Ollie. Does it's that It's significantly do... more damage on block than on hit. What the It's not even fuck? close. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> yeah, see, this is the fun thing about Sailor Moon S, is that it's just full with... It's just... It's filled with shit like this. Moves that do more damage on chip than hit. <laughs> yep. It's fucking crazy. So let me show you... Uh, let me show off Jupiter's super while I'm still here. Uh... I wish I was more consistent in it um, later on, because uh, I didn't I didn't use that shit how I should have been. Yeah, you didn't correctly use a lot of supers in the future when we did these matches, right? Yeah, exactly. So what I'm going to do now is show off Sailor Jupiter's super, which is the relatively sane uh, quarter circle back punch, quarter circle back half circle forward heavy punch. Crazy. That does alright damage. But here's the thing, uh, throw a fireball at me in just a second. Try and time it with the start of my super. Yep. So, this super has no invincibility. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Essentially making it kinda bad, but particularly bad for the Mars matchup when your opponent's gonna be mainly throwing fireballs. That's why you'll notice that in the future, when I do the matches against Ollie, that's why I don't throw out that super very much. Yeah, and the reason I don't is because I'm bad at the motion. Alright, so, um, should we, uh, should we do the matches now? Yeah, sure, let's get into it. Alright, cool, let's, hang on, let me, let me hop into my, let me get my time machine up, and we'll, we'll travel back in time to the future when we record... <laughs> I really lost track of what this bit was. <laughs> yeah, the worst thing about time travel is the grammar. Okay, well, um, good luck, Matt. Hopefully we have a really um, uh, sensible game and it's uh, all fair play. First, two, three. Da -da 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 -da. This is where we play the video game until one of us wins three rounds. And it's always been three. That's the Kasuge rules. We've never done anything differently. Correct. And, uh, you know, you can't prove anything. <laughs> yeah, what we're saying is you can't prove <laughs> shit. Oof. There we oh, go. No. That was the super. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, glad I didn't go for the jump in. Oh, that might have gone over that though. Also, I keep expecting the charge buffer to be there. Ooh. Oh, sniped. I didn't get to punish. Oh boy. Alright, that's not what I was trying to do there. I was trying to do the super, but that wouldn't have even worked, because no invincibility. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that won't help. 
I can see this being a very upsetting match. Fuck. Okay. You figured the dark secret about this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your fireball is better than mine. <laughs> Oh, I'm the gra I'm the good grappler too. Ah, oh, there we go. Ding ding ding. <laughs> Shit. All right, let's see if I can uh, redeem myself. Ah, damn it. Oh boy. Please. Yeah. You cigarded me. What can I say? Oh my god. I don't know why I was standing there. Ah, chip. The chip. I should have just assumed <laughs> it was going to be a snake and jumped it. Because I wasn't going to jump that if that was a bird. Watch out for that. Oh no, that's space to not be punished by SPD. God, cancel, damn it. Why did not just backdash? Yep. One frame throws. Everything mm -hmm. in this game is one frame throw. Gonna move that spin. Ooh. 2 0. <laughs> We're gonna have to re record the video <laughs> if, if it goes 3 0. Oh. It's. Ollie, it's gonna make it look like I set this up so I would win. <laughs> That's um, you can hit confirm that out pretty well, can't you? Yeah, that's definitely hit confirmable. Yeah, probably should have jumped over there. Oh, I thought I could have jumped over that. Oh boy. Oh no, Man, the, that kill. Oh. <laughs> the normal throw range is absurd. Yep, that's pretty crazy. I jumped. <laughs> <laughs> you jumped so late on that. Yep. Got no one but myself to blame for that. Oh boy. I don't like how good of an anti-air that is. I think it's pretty slow. Oh good. Well, it's... I, I don't like that it's an anti-air and that you used it while I was airing you. Oh shit. Nope! <laughs> Oh, I, yep. I could have blocked it. Come on. Mm. Oh, 2 1, Ollie. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, 
Forgive me, master. But I'm gonna have to use that technique. <laughs> oh, Bam! No. Oh no. Haha, <laughs> surprise! I loved a second character. <laughs> Hang on a second, let me just quickly check my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, yep, uh-huh, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, yep, and, ooh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, oh. ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, that's okay, these notes are really shitty. Uh-huh. Yeah, alright, let's do this. Wait, I gotta, oh no, I don't have any matchup notes for this one. <laughs> <お前はもう死んでいる。何>? <laughs> oh god, alright. <sighs> oh boy. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, Uranus seems fucked. <laughs> yep! Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Boom! Ah, damn it! Ooh. Counter hit! Fuck! Oh, god damn it! All right. Okay. Jesus Christ! Okay, <laughs> just gonna neutral jump a few times in a row there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, that doesn't. Ah, I Ooh. To throw there. You can get two lights and that tick throw. Uh, wait, hang on. Is that three one? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I didn't realize I had won immediately, so I should have popped off more. Yeah. So if okay, so what we'll do, right, uh -huh. is we'll edit a clip of me doing a. I'll do a pop off now, right, and uh -huh. we'll edit it in, and we'll pretend. Yeah. I did that clip. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So I'll just we'll just pretend pretend mm -hmm. like we just won. All right. Fuck you, Ollie! I hate you! I won! You're the shit! You shit! Give me, give me your fucking marbles! Drat. Uh, what's the face's forward dash? It's really Uranus's forward yep. dash is really something. Yeah, uh, there's turns out there's a reason that that uh, she's fucking top tier. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just crazy the way she just teleports back and forward around the screen. It's it's crazy. It's really fun to play. Well, I I do I hope this just gets continues to get worse and worse, and hopefully next time we can choose a game that's not nearly so playable. Because I actually had quite a bit of fun with this. Yeah, it's not it's not the worst game in the world. Um, yeah. Once we get into, you know, the real good shit, like a, mm. like a Balls 3D or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, getting rid really of Clay like, Fighter. Uh, yeah, 63 66. and a third. Yeah. That'll be when the real scumbag tactics come out. I, I, you know what? I quite like this game. And I would honestly see myself playing it again just as a curiosity. Mm. Yeah, um, it's, um, it's fun enough. It's, seems fucked in a lot of ways. Oh yeah, but it seems fun fucked, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe we'll play this again someday. Who knows? Yeah. But in the meantime, thanks for joining us, and until next time, remember, at Kusoge, it's the best show!